You sure? Yeah. I was 17 and my body changed seemingly overnight. Flesh and blood and raging hormones. So intense. It's like primal. Oh, God, that's so hot! That boy next door, do you love him? It's none of your business. But then, one night that summer, everything changed. This film's actually adapted from a, from a book. Yes. I mean, what are some of the challenges that I guess you had to undergo in this adaption? I mean, for me, it was really, um, I get sent a lot of books and scripts, and it's really finding material that I really love and I, that really resonates with me. And um, Laura's book, I just found it to be so beautiful and so moving, and it really kind of broke my heart and really haunted me, the story of it. So it was one of those um, books that I really felt like it needs to be a movie and it like I need to direct it and that and that's like super super rare and actually you're no stranger to playing characters off of a book I mean do you actually approach it differently now I didn't read the book to this film um, because I was very keen on making Greg's film and not Laura's mm -hmm. who's the author of the novel um, her book as a movie and I'm I know that I would love I would love to read her book now that we've done the movie but um, there's always subtle differences in tone, and I just wanted to make his film without confusing myself. And actually, how is it working with that, Shailene? Because this is actually, you worked with her prior to Fault in the Stars, prior to Divergent. I mean, you knew her before, I guess, she became well-known. I, I knew her oh. when. <laughs> I knew her when. Or you worked with her. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but, you know, when I was working with her, I knew, you know, like, you could feel it. You're mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, the kid's about to blow up. She's, you know, she's lovely, mm -hmm. and you know, just she's very gifted. She's very gentle. She's very open and sweet. You know, and something about her is very attractive. Aside from, you know, really the physical, she, she has an attracting quality. I was 17 when my mother disappeared. One day she was there, cleaning, making dinner, and the next, she was gone. What kind of mother would do something like that? I hate to be the one to tell you this. Hundreds of wives go missing every week. There were times when I thought she was going mad. She was going to burn the house down. Press the butter. It was almost like she wanted to have an affair or something. Could it be that's what she was doing? I guess anything's possible, right? And is it, was it surprising as well to see that this is, you know, it could be a thriller film, it could be a coming of age film, but. In a sense, it was a little bit relatable when it comes to suburbia and the issues families go through in suburbia. Well, I think yeah. that this is what Greg is very adept at, mm -hmm. which is outwardly, this is what you're about to see. Mm -hmm. Forget that. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go underneath. I'm going to go into the guts of you know w what suburbia is like, what a dysfunctional family is like, and it's going to be very specific because every dysfunctional family is dysfunctional in their own way. A, a, a coming of age story, how that plays out. You know, just you know, I, I just that's how I saw it. That he's going to set up. Oh, this is what the movie's about. No, let's now we're going to go in mm -hmm. uh, into the guts of it. Talking about the music, I mean, I love the fact that it was set in the 80s. Um, looking at some of the styles that you guys are wearing in the film, and the music as well. I mean, how much was that of you, Greg? And did you enjoy the, f the outfits and the music? You know? So yeah. much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's one of the th things that attracted me to, the, to the, um, the book was that it was set in the 80s. I've been wanting to make a movie set in the 80s for a while, and I really wanted to pay homage to um, the music that's in the movie. Um, it was that, like Depeche Mode and New Order and The Cure and all those bands were so important to me when I was sort of coming of age as a filmmaker, and I want, and it really, that music really kind of meant the world to me, and that's why the music becomes almost like a character in the film. It's so important to Shay's character and the sort of younger characters in the movie. You came here to seduce me. Why not? It worked. My father had his own drawer of secrets. Your mother never loved me. No evidence. Not a single trace. She's got to be somewhere, right? You need to let some of your anger out. You're gonna crack. Why are you doing this? Are you insane? Harder! <laughs> Please, I don't care what it is. I just cannot keep living my life in the dark just wondering. Don't ask me. 
Ask him. Why won't anyone listen to me? Mom? The beautiful woman she once was became a phantom wandering away in a snowstorm.